is going on everybody welcome back to the channel before we dive into Kingsman the Golden Circle I, I felt the need to say something and I wanted to let you know that whatever you're going through right now is happening to you on purpose to create the person that you were meant to be and if you quit then you give up turning into the person that you are meant to be that you are put on this earth to be deep I know but again something told me to say that anyway let's dive into the movie Don't sequel to Kingsman the Secret Service which by the way if you haven't seen that it's because it was copywritten and age restricted on YouTube because I included everything ass shots anal requests stabbings into heads I included everything so this one's gonna have to be edited just a little bit so I can monetize this damn video you know what I'm saying but guys if you haven't seen the Secret Service go check it out it is on the channel and uh Based on how the end of the last movie went, I hope the golden circle doesn't mean something like a bunch of dudes standing around a woman pissing all over her. something you know? Frightening. Guys, link to our Patreon will be at the top of the description if you want access to these early released full-length movie reactions. They are on the Patreon. And with all that being said, dude, let's dive into it. I did also hear that Pedro Pascal is in this movie. It's like he's in fucking everything. It's like my Uncle Vernon. I don't have an Uncle Vernon. I have an Uncle Jim, though. That would be frightening. All right! I am pumped, dude. Ooh, that orange tux? Dude, that's sick. There was a part of me that was dangerously close to getting married in a purple suede suit. Like I was a pimp named Slickback. You mind if I share your cab? What? Oh god, this guy? If I was you, I'd unlock your cab. What's this guy's deal? Oh, Jesus. Dude, 30 seconds in, we're getting a kick-ass fight scene. This is great. Oh, God. Oh, my God, he's a cyborg? The action sequences of this movie and this series are so cool, dude. Wow. Is he changing the song? Oh, shit! Into his neck? <laughs> what other movie has fight sequences like that? That is incredible. I mean, granted, they would both be dead as hell. How the hell was Eggsy not flown through the dashboard? Oh my god. Permission to blow these fuckers away! It's out. I'm clearing the route. What? They have control over the entire traffic system? Jesus Christ. Dude, this is so reckless. Machine gun turrets, three of them, blasting people all over the streets. Oh my god, that drift is beautiful. That makes me want to play Mario Kart, dude. I'd be Yoshi, I'd slap y'all down. Dark Zone confirmed. Permission to fire. Fuck for that. Oh my god. That is way easier. Why didn't we start out with that? The police are right behind you. You have 30 seconds before they reach your position. Go directly to Rendezvous Swan. Rendezvous Swan? Is my boy jumping in the water? <laughs> dashboard compl- or fucking- yeah, dashboard- wait, what? You do realize I haven't even got a windscreen right now. Yes! You remember Damn it! Training, you were rather good at holding your breath. Oh my god. Why do y'all not have like a portable oxygen tank? I feel like that's just one of the tools y'all should have. He's literally driving into the water. Oh my god. Is it me? Do y'all also feel like you need to take a deep breath when people are holding their breath underwater in movies? That's crazy. How long does he have to hold his breath for, dude? And why can he see so clearly underwater? Dude, if that were me, I'd be like that. I'd be fucking gasping for it. How is he just... <laughs> what? I've got to get to a dinner tonight, and if I miss it, let's just say Charlie might as well have killed me. Well, if you can't wait for the police to clear the park, there's another way out in the corner. But who you got a date with? The anal princess, or what? Oh, he's got to go through the shitter? 
How important is that dinner? Oh God, dude, you'd get... let me show you. He would, you would get so sick. No, that dude. If I think about that hard enough, I will gag. My boy just jumped in piss and scat, bro. Fuck. Oh. Okay, that's awful. The worst thing that could have happened ever. <gasps> Disgusting, Eggsy. That was the only option. Do not show up to dinner like that. Mom. I'm here. Dude, I can smell you through the screen. <gasps> it is her. It's the anal princess. It's a long story that deserves oh. a kiss. <laughs> How are you gonna make her do that? You were really gonna do it. Oh. Yeah. Now that is true love right there. Amazing. I'm gonna go and get changed. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that, dude. Is there a lesson there? Anal on the first time leads to a marriage? I don't know. I'll meet her parents for the first time tomorrow night. Woo! I wanna make a good impression, so what? I'll look after your dog, mate, but I've got one condition. What's that? You have a drink with us. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Damn, that's a... Y'all smoking pounds over here? My drugs. Bunch of weed. Are everywhere. Oh, that was a cool transition. Here I am, running the biggest drug cartel in the world. Who's talking? Not to toot my own horn. I just think it's really important for new recruits to understand the history of the Golden Circle. Oh, uh, who is that? And that's what the Golden Circle is. It's the damn drug trade. Julianne Moore. You understand that in the Golden Circle, my authority is never to be questioned, right? <laughs> a weird Even dynamic. I've... It's a real Martha Stewart murder vibe going on here. Your old pal Charles has messed up. That's all I'm gonna tell you, because that's all you need to know, so put him in a mincer, okay? Put him in a... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's... Oh, God. Okay. Wait, what? Why is there no blood? What is happening? Oh, shit. See my salon across the way? Head there for your makeover. What? Come on, we're making your friend into burgers. Go get your hair cut. What kind of joint is this? That was horrifying. You said you never eaten at a palace before. And Papa is sort of picky about table manners. Oh, guys. I've got this shit on lock. I know what every single one of them knives and forks is for. <gasps> this is a butter knife. The only one you need to remember the rest of the cutlery is easy. You start from the outside and you work your way in with each course. Wow. That reminds me of like going to a cotillion class. I've never been, but my cousin did and we made fun of him for it. Hey, you know manners, square. It's like, okay, that's a stupid fucking thing, but any of y'all ever been to cotillion? Hey, no, 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 sit down, I'm fine. I'm fine, have a good day. Okay. Aw, it always makes me sad when someone goes through the trouble of making a nice meal and the person they made it for doesn't eat it. That's like the saddest thing. Cooking is fucked up. It takes hours to make and then minutes to eat. The man who attacked Galahad in the taxi was Charlie Hesketh. Rejected Kingsman applicant turned bad. Yeah, that guy sucks. <laughs> My dude got zapped right Everyone to the forehead that. and then punched in the face. <laughs> when you electrocuted him, you damaged his implant. Instead of his head exploding, he only lost an arm and his vocal cords. Oh. We believe he's been recruited by an unknown organization. Uh, the Golden Circle. Fingerprints removed, teeth filed smooth. Teeth filed smooth? How are you supposed to eat? He's got dull chompers. Signora Poppy has sent me for my makeover. Follow me. What does makeover mean? It's gonna, it's gonna be something fucked up. They're gonna cut off his nipples and put his hair in his throat. Something weird. Oh, the golden circle on his chest. Oh. Oh. Whoa, that's crazy. It's actual gold. Okay, that's fucked up, but there's a, there's a little part of me that's like, that's kind of cool. This. Oh, no. 
They do this in The Last of Us, and all of us think the dude's Satan incarnate, and then there's a beautiful woman that does it. We're like, meets me, right? right? No. Ew, dude, that's your friend. Damn, that was a big bite. How is it? <sighs> it's delicious. No, it's not. Welcome to Golden Circle. Bring my heart. What? Please address the queen and myself with your majesty. Papa, this is a family dinner, not some state uh, function. Her dad sucks. What do you make of the current situation in the Indian financial markets? Oh, Jesus, this is an interview, dude. I don't think we can underestimate the impact of the ECB's quantitative easing measures and, of course, the liquidity wave from the US Federal Reserve rate hike getting pushed back. Let's go, Eggsy! Where's all this coming from? And the Bluetooth logo is his initials in North Runic symbols. And. As I'm oh, sure you know, the dude, that's logo sick. is his initials yeah. in Norse runic symbols. <laughs> this is so cool. You can impress anyone. Ace any interview. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh hey, you're God, fucking you're up the door. Stop scratching the door. I'm going to get a blind mark. Wow, starting his own. Who the hell's this? Oh, this is his buddy? Yeah, this is his buddy who's watching his dog. Okay. <laughs> okay. I must say, you are really not as I expected. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Exit. Is that you, mate? <laughs> that dude just wants himself sucked off. Tell you what, whatever you're doing, I want in. Oh. Put it down. Oh, God. Why? What? This. Fucking shut it! Exit. I beg you. Shut it! Shut it! Now! Alright, mate, show your boots. Exit. <laughs> Say it was a play. Say you never seen that play before. Beautiful production. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Poppy, you are fucked up, woman. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. Yep. Kingsman is crumpet. Crumpets? Like toast. Bitch, I know, but what a weird expression. I got you a present, Charlie. Bigger, badder, better arm. Again. You got severe issues, woman. So what, everybody that's part of the Golden Circle's got a bionic arm? She's like, it's real good for pleasure. Come see me tonight. Mama wants a little grease. What? Let's see if your game improves. This creates the all-star bowling league. Oh, Jesus. Okay, never mind. Not so good at bowling. Fuck. So now is every Kingsman dead except Eggsy? Oh. Someone decides to wipe out every Kingsman property, conveniently you weren't at home. I can say the same thing about you. What, you think I'd kill Roxy? You think I would? And my mate Brandon, I'm Wait, a Roxy's fucking dog. Ever, dude, everybody's dead? This thing hacked us. Everyone's dead, gone, do you even care? Pull yourself together. Remember your training. There's no time for emotion in this scenario. Wow. We follow the Doomsday Protocol. When that's done, you may share the tear in private. Jesus. What's the Doomsday Protocol? We go shopping. There is no... Uh, <laughs> shopping. There is no room for emotion, but Jesus, that's insane. Everybody you know just died. Fuck. We're from Kingsman. We'd like to buy some wine. Wine? Please tasting room number three, please. Whatever's in that safe is the answer to all our problems. Okay. Is that it? Statesman whiskey? I don't get it. Me neither. What the fuck are we supposed to do now? Y'all want to get drunk? Well, I guess enough alcohol fixes anything, huh? Should we do one for JB? I think we should. <laughs> These guys are going to black out. <laughs> my boy gets drunk and just cries. What kind of drunk are you? I've never been drunk in my entire life. Are you an angry drunk, a happy drunk, or a sad drunk? Those are the categories, right? I think we should drink to Scotland. I to Scotland. I think we should drink to fucking pair of socks. Socks are nice. 
still in Kentucky. We're going back to Kentucky? There's been a part of me that's wanted a drink in my life because I feel like it bonds people together. I've smoked with people and that bonds people together too. But I don't know, man. At this point, I'm not gonna fucking do it. I made it almost 30 years, never been drunk. So whatever, whatever, but. <coughs> Biometric security scanner just to protect a few old barrels of whiskey. Oh my God. God. You know my mama. <laughs> hey, we're not doing anything. <laughs> Statesman. Is that a, oh, is that? Y'all ain't never heard of knocking for you in. Channing Tatum? That dog don't hunt. So what you going to get down on your knees and tell me who you really work for? Get down on your knees, Jesus Christ, Channing. What? Oh my god. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> okay. You here for the lepidopterist, ain't you? What? Lepidopterist? I don't make you want to slap your mama right now. <laughs> <laughs> she cooks a mean meatloaf, I'ma smack that bitch. What? Good and strong. See a pull out a lighter? See Oh my god. Or, let's see what happens when we change things up. Y'all got three seconds to tell me the truth. Wait, no. Ah, no! Hurry! He can't hear you, but I can, so talk. No! Get down, Harry! Ah! Let's do it. Their story checked out. I opened our doomsday scenario locker, and that umbrella was in it. Kingsman. It's got our logo on it. Wow. Okay. Welcome to Statesman, Independent Intelligence Agency. Just like y'all, I reckon. But our founders went into the booze business, thank the sweet Lord above. <laughs> this is ginger ale. Ginger ale? Whoo, I love me ginger ale. Canada Dry or Seagram's, I don't give a shit. Thank you. So the Kingsman and Statesman are two different organizations that are, that collaborate and they're linked. <laughs> I'm a lepidopterist. You're a what? I study butterflies. What? He's got retrograde amnesia. Now, we knew from his eyeglasses that he was intelligent. We just didn't know who was. Yeah, okay, give me the story, because I'm more confused than a wombat. Oh, it's that guy? My dumbass! Why didn't I recognize him sooner? Because he got a goddamn eye patch and no glasses. Statesman came swooping down? God, that makes way more sense now. We developed our alpha gel technology for our own agents. The gel protects the brain. Then in the lab, we use nanites to repair tissue damage. Whoa. Holy shit. My dumbass is like, who's that? With no idea who he was, there was nothing we could do. But now you guys are here, there's a good chance we can bring him back. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Crocodile Rock, please. Elton John. Fuck you. Ow. Oh. Hey, hey, Elton, language. Yo, that sucks. Elton John's are a little fucking toy monkey. Like, have you been a bad boy again? <laughs> You're lying. This is so weird. What, is, what does being a bad boy mean? Look at your hands. The first sign of a slow and horrible death. Not Elton John. Tell me who you partied with. It was Angel. Gonna have to clip his wings. Are you gonna make Elton John into a sandwich? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that looks like Texas, boys. You can take the boy out of Texas, but you can't take Texas out the boy. That's Kentucky, but... Whatever. I'm champagne. Champagne? But anyone who knows what's good for him. <laughs> Champ, who's this guy? All these people look so familiar. Jeff Bridges. If someone wanted to take out Kingsman, then they've got to be planning something major. So what do you know? Mmm, <laughs> smells like your mother. You got any promising leads, someone? 
Charlie Hesketh. His ex-girlfriend, we believe she's still in contact with him. And she's going to Glastonbury Music Festival. Give him your glasses. Put them on. What kind of glasses are those? Yeah, them double bridges, baby! They're all rocking them Dahmers. Kid, looks like we're hooking up with a chick at a rock concert. Pedro! My favorite kind of mission. <laughs> little bit of whiskey, little bit of dry humping, baby. It's gonna be a good night. Pedro, what? Babe, I wish I could stay longer, but I've got to get on with this mission. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, I wanna show you something. What is it? Oh. I know he could never replace JB, but... You got another pug? Days. I hoped he might make you happy. Oh, I didn't even think that his dog got fucking massacred. Oh, God. And give you another reason to come back home soon. But I don't need another reason to come home. <laughs> Them sweet cheeks will do it. That's what made Papa fall in love in the first place. I love it. Exit. Gotta go save the world? Yep. Well, if you save the world, you know what that means. Yeah, all right. <laughs> She's just using anal as a chip to... What? As a reward system. Oh my God. Take a look in the glove box. Fucking hell, bro. Oh my. Oh, everything God. was supposed to be bigger in America. This is why you overcompensate with these massive cars. Goes on your finger. <laughs> it's really hey, that can fit some guys. <clears throat> The hand is not a mucous membrane, Eggsy. What are you talking about? Our trackers are designed to enter the bloodstream. They circulate harmlessly, providing full audio and GPS. Wait, mucous membrane? Then he did this? Up the nose, isn't it? What the fuck am I gonna do? Stick a finger? You can put a finger in her. It's not just inside the nose, is it? No! Eggsy, no, it ain't. It's in her whispering eye! Watch and learn, buddy. <laughs> Pedro? Where's Baby Yoda and Ellie, dude? Like, can't be at music festivals fingering women. What's happening? Miss, I beg your pardon. Now, I don't want to pester you, but I just have to know, what time are you playing? Follow my finger. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what are we doing? Swiping to the left. Oh! What, you don't do Tinder in America? Oh. It translates as go away, old man. Be good, be cool. <laughs> be good, be cool. <laughs> Eight times more addictive than cocaine. Five times more likely to cause death. I'm pretty sure those are myths. I don't think sugar addiction is as intense as cocaine addiction. Although I could be wrong. I'm no doctor. I just say gooch on the internet and watch movies. I have invested in robots because they are so much more reliable and trustworthy than human beings. Oh my God. That's where everything's going nowadays, right? They're opening fast food restaurants that are completely operated by robots. What do you guys think of that? Is that gonna propel humans to become more oriented towards high skills that computers can't do? Or is that just gonna completely wipe away humans? Should we check my tent? See if they're there? Yeah. Come on. Come here, I want you to slide a finger in me. What? Fuck is this? Oh my god, that's her tent? She's got a chandelier in there. You know what? I'm busting for a pee, actually. <laughs> you can do it on me if you want. What? The women in this mo these movies are dirty as hell. I want you to kiss me. Give mama a golden share. Hey. Hi, babe. I've got to sleep with the target, but I won't do it unless you agree that it's all right. You've got to be fucking kidding. Kind of got a bit of a save the world situation here. How the fuck is screwing someone going to save the world? I got to enter into her mucous membrane, mama. Babe, please believe me. I love you. You are the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Is that a proposal? What? No, it doesn't sound like it. In that context, yeah. Yeah, I'd feel different. You can fuck another woman, but propose to me first. What? Just give me five minutes, okay? Don't put yourself down, Exe. I'm sure you can last longer than that. <laughs> oh, dude, I like her. Ah. All right, now go piss on the woman in the tent. <laughs> it's really weird. I could just... Fuck? <clears throat> she's, she's got a point. <gasps> Do you know what? My crow is looking for a place to nest. <laughs> you want to hatch the bird? That's a frightening way to say that. Oh my gosh. I gotta chill. I can't put this on YouTube. It's gonna damn age restrict me again. Okay, we are literally inside of her vagina. Okay. Good work, Exit. Tracker, 
fully functional. Don't worry. I've been through this with whiskey before. Nice to be working with an agent who knows what he's doing. <laughs> I can't. I'm in a relationship. What happens at Glasto stays in Glasto. What? What comes inside a mama bird stays inside a mama bird. Would you stop? I said I'm in a relationship. Oh, I feel bad for her. I mean, that chick's offering you to pee all over her. You could have said, yo, I got a weird fetish where I want to pick your nose. Can I do it? Let Papa pick your nose. And she'd be like, okay, it's kind of weird, but let's roll with it. And then just put the damn finger condom in her nose. I am saying weird things during this reaction. Harry, you can't just walk away. Kingsman needs you. The whole world needs you. I need you. Harry, stop studying flying bugs and save the world, damn it. Wherever the Harry was that you knew, he's gone, I'm afraid. Take your hand back. We know there's gonna be something to snap him back to his Kingsman self. What is it gonna be? She's smoking weed? Dude, this princess is badass. My girl's getting high with a pug. Oh, the dog is gonna snap him back. Is it? You gonna show him Mr. Bubbles or Scruffles or whatever the dog's name was? Aww. He's so cute and scruffy, dude. Aww. Jane, he's lovely, isn't he? What are the chances That's that a pet store would have that exact scruffy ass little dog? Watch him name him the same thing. Oh. Do you think I should shoot him? God. You're quite mad. Whoa, what's the problem? <laughs> Oh my God, that did it. Whoa, what a crazy scene. Oh, Mr. Pickle, that was his name. What'd I say? Wow. It was a blank. Yes, Harry, yes. It was a fucking yes, blank. Right, it was a blank. I've never heard Mr. Pickle. Yes, Harry. He lived on right old age. He died of pancreatitis. Wow. You're not Mr. Pickle. Aww. He's so cute. Just call him a type of pickle. Call him like bread and butter. Name the dog Butter. Hello, Harry. Whoa. Cool scene, dude. I like that. I suppose I should cancel that taxi. Yes, if you don't mind. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of things that threatening to kill a puppy can do. Honey, will you make me some meatloaf? Babe, I'm a little tired tonight. I'm gonna murder the puppy. Okay, I'll make the meatloaf. <laughs> Uh, well, you've looked better, but I guess for getting shot in the face, you look pretty damn good. Exy. How do I know? <laughs> you look That's like not bad. some faggot looking for an eye fucking. What? What was that? Why don't you get out of our bar before I take out your other one? Bubba, go sit down and relax your sphincter. You're gonna give yourself a nosebleed. Suck my southern dick, bitch. <laughs> oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Well, that's not quite the southern hospitality I'm used to. Which one of you guys is queer around? What? Make it. Man. I'm gonna sling a coffee cup at your face, bitch. Sing. Oh. Okay. All right, well, we're a little off. A little rusty, but that's fine. Are we going to stand around here all day? Or are we going to... <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. seen Indiana Jones before, but I know an Indiana Jones whip when I see one. Why is Pedro Pascal such a badass? I feel like a tornado in a trailer park. <laughs> okay. Mr. President, my name is Poppy Adams. And I invite you to begin negotiations in the largest scale hostage situation in history. A few weeks ago, an engineered virus was released contained in all varieties of my product. Cannabis, cocaine, heroin, oh. opium, ecstasy, and crystal meth. Okay. Y'all just kicking back, sharing some crystal meth, watching TV? Stage one symptoms, a blue rash. Second stage symptoms appear, mania. Stage three, paralysis. Oh. 
God. Breathing becomes impossible, leading to a very nasty death. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, my God! I have an antidote. Okay, we're saving what up. What have you done to me, you fucking bitch? <laughs> You look like a mustard picnic blanket, you damn bitch! My word, I will do this. <laughs> Elton's not taking shit anymore. You agree to end the war on drugs once and for all. All classes of substance are legalized. And second, my colleagues and I receive full legal immunity. Save okay. lives. Legalize. Super weird. What's y'all's take on legalizing all drugs, even hardcore drugs? Drop a comment down below, let me know. What are you gonna do? is now being renamed the dancing disease as victims begin to exhibit stage two symptoms. Every movie Channing Tatum's in, he's got to dance. <laughs> okay. Reason? Uh, uh. Exactly. Close it. My boy just got Walt Disney'd. What I'm proposing is we appear to agree to her demands to prevent global panic and then let the junkie scum go down in flames. Right? <laughs> hey! Junkie scum, maybe dude wants to just come home and smoke a joint. We could be looking at the deaths of hundreds of millions worldwide. Well, hundreds of millions of criminals, burdens to society. What? Did you ever smoke a joint as a kid you want to be murdered for it? You fucking idiot. Now we have to find that antidote. You must have some on hand. My okay, boy's using coffee. that like a mouthwash. Fuck? Sorry to cut in, guys, but Charlie is on the phone with his girlfriend, looping you in now. Larry, I'm on a payphone, covered in Fucking blue rash. Remember we went skiing? Yes. Meet me there and I'll give you the antidote. Yeah, now we got access to the antidote. Let's roll. Go on, man, move. Yes, sir. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you, what did my guy do? What? What is that? Drink it. Wait, now y'all can't do drugs ever again, right? They're all laced. Antidote confirmed at the target's location. Good luck. <laughs> is this gonna be a cool ass skiing montage? Certo. Certo. Oh, God, dude. Just smack him over the head with something. Okay. Hey. Okay. At the controls, in position. Oh, shit. I'm here to collect this antidote. For Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> you are Wu Ting Feng? Yeah. Yes. River. Hi, Clara. What happens at Glasto stays at Glasto. Motherfucker! Bye, Charlie. Sound the alarm! Wait, it looked like he grabbed something that didn't even have any antidote in it. Come on, we've got to go now, please. Shut the fucking door, Harry! Harry, Harry stop looking there? at the butterflies! Come on! All clear. Hello, Exit. Oh, God. Enjoy the ride. Bruv. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Fuck that, dude. I don't even, I don't even do the teacups at Disney World. Dude, that is some sort of hell right there. How have y'all not thrown up yet? What the fuck is that? My dude is Dr. Strangin. Fuck that. That would be awful. Kill a bunch of liver spotted people. Is it gonna stop right before? Okay. America, baby. Wow. That's the first decent shit I've had in three weeks. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a comment like that. I was about to say, uh, yep, I just I just shitted myself. Oh my god. Old people and poop jokes, it doesn't get much better than that. So weird to think this tiny thing could save the world. Let me have a look. Do not like throw it in the fire or something, dude. Oh God, please secure it. You found the antidote. Oh God. Get down! Why the fuck would you do that? Oh my God, oh my God. Seriously? I guess he was trying to save Eggsy, but. You had to save your life. Yeah, it cost millions of people there. They're going for cover and reloading. I'll fix their wagons. Cover me, boy! I'll fix their wagons. Wait. Exactly, I think he could be working for the other side. Are you seeing butterflies again? 
I know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is one of those fight scenes I gotta blur out, otherwise YouTube will slap my ass. That is sick. Oh my god! What? That lasso cuts people? Jesus Christ! Thank fucking Christ, I didn't need any backup! Oh shit, is Pedro working for the other side? I don't know! I said I'm empty! Thanks! Give him yours! Hi! Harry, give him the fucking gun! Four! Someone got me here to shoot him! Harry, no! Jerry, what the fuck is wrong with you? Drunk the bottle on purpose! You're a fucking idiot! A ye of little face! Oh shit! Boy just aftershaved him all over the place. Did that kill him all? Oh my god. Merlin, can you hear me? Yes, exit. Whiskey's down, he's been shot. What happened? He got caught in the crossfire. All right, well, we covered for him, but something tells me he's right. Something tells me Harry knows what the fuck he's doing. Wu Ting Feng, Singapore. It's the only lead we've got. So I suggest you find out who he is. Yeah, no shit. Thanks, Harry. Wu Ting Feng, he's an assistant at a law firm. Email in from Poppy from a senior partner at the firm. Their coordinates. Cambodia. What the hell's in Cambodia? Besides a damn holiday. It's a holiday in Cambodia. It's tough, kid, but it's a Oh, Jesus. Fox. What? Oh, that's why she was for it, because she's been doing drugs. Oh, God. Disappointed, Fox. Disappointed and disgusted. Bitch. It's a high-stress job, dude. You can save them, sir. Innocent people like me. Not that innocent. You suck, dude. You suck hard. My boy clicked and pointed. Fuck you, guy! I shot Agent Whiskey, deliberately. What? Why? He was working against us. <gasps> Is it your... <gasps> Answer it! Answer it! I've got to take this. Yeah, you do. Hey, baby! Hey! Oh, God. Oh, God. Are you the banana man? Are you the banana man? Oh, God. And if we get through this and you will have me back, I want to be with you, no matter what. I'm leaving now, with or without you. Hello! Identify yourself. My name is Stacy Pruitt. I'm Miss Poppy Adams' attorney. Poppy, are you expecting a the lawyer tonight? Oh, yes. Please send him in. But don't forget to reactivate the landmines. What kind of weird, sadistic circus show is this? Reactivate the landmines? My lawyer is bringing you the document right now. So don't dilly dally sign that document because time is running out. <laughs> you dumb bitch. I'd be afraid if I were the president if she's got stockpiles all over the world. Wouldn't she probably have microphones in your office? I don't know. Can you guess what the last thing was that flashed through my mind? It was absolutely nothing. No bittersweet memories. Never experienced companionship. That sucks. In that moment, all I felt it was regret. Was loneliness. Oh, wow. And regret. Oh, there it is. That's why you gotta take chances in life. Quick little sidebar. Go out and do that thing that makes you uncomfortable. Ride the fucking mechanical bull even though it makes you feel awkward. Life is too short. I've been the dude that always sits on the sidelines as well. Doesn't matter. Go experience life. Regret is scary as hell. We're nearly there. So I suggest we get ready. Oh, it's time to strap up, boys. Oh, yes. Damn. Hello, gorgeous. How would you like to ride home on a real cowboy? I got a six pack of cold ones all night, so my room is out all night, so you can scream my name as loud as you need to. Jesus, Pedro. <laughs> okay. Hey, honey, I'm heading to the grocery store. Oh, my God. Wow. Dude, he was spitting game. You know what they say save a horse, ride a Pedro. Butterfly guy shot me in the fucking head. Why would he do that? Oh, you hesitated. Are you a double agent? That's where Poppy's base is. Oh, God. Because he's going to need backup. I don't know if I can trust you, dude. Oh, my God. All these weapons. Oh, my God. Bat. Bodies. Careful. Those are hand grenades. Well, that's not safe. Daddy, you want to play catch? <laughs> 
with the flag helmet on. Whiskey. That's who I aspire to be like. I want to look like that. You just need some sunglasses, but keep the mustache. Maybe get a little bit bigger, you know? A little uh, girthier. Oh God, now you're stuck move. there, dude. You move, we die. Oh my God. Luckily, I have this. This spray will freeze the trigger mechanism. Well, on the count of three, what I want you to no! Fuck? I feel like we should have had a little bit more corroboration, right? I... Oh, he, oh. Merlin, what the fuck have you done? Merlin. Can's empty, you too. Wait, why didn't you put a rock there or something? This is no time for emotion or maybe our training or we all die. Well, you just killed yourself, dude. <sighs> like seriously, could they have not found a, a rock and just put it on there? You're in the jungle. Are you expecting another lawyer? There's a guy here. Singing? Take me home to a place where I belong. My boy's got a decent set of pipes. Poppy, we got a situation here. Oh my God, is he gonna sacrifice himself and kill everybody? Oh my God. Wait, if you can, if they have technology to bring you back from getting shot in the face, can't they just save this dude? Maybe not after that. Can we get somebody out there to clean that up? You sadistic bitch. Elton. Crap, we're under attack. Oh God. What day is it today? Wednesday. Exactly. <laughs> what? Oh, that's sick. A little soft toss with bombs, baby. <laughs> piano! <laughs> piano man days! Oh wait, piano man. Yeah, right? must have been so fun to make, man. I bet it's pretty much just CGI and green screen, but like for the editors, I guess, that'd be cool. <laughs> okay, Elton. Oh my God, this is cool. Oh, fuck. I guess that robot chick got what's coming to her. Let me just come over here, pull my pants down, chat GPT bag your nuts, your face. You are going to tell me what the access code is. Oh God. My guy's got them burgundy pants on though. That's a clean look. I like those. I need to get me a pair of them. Come on, Jim. Good girl. Okay, this is not looking good. Where's Pedro? Is Pedro gonna come save the day? It's gotta be Pedro, right? Elton! <laughs> Friend! <laughs> Get out of the way, Elton. Take that bowling ball and smash that dog. Again, something I thought that I would never say. Arm hacks? Is he gonna smash his own face or something? Oh. It's like that Florida man that takes a frying pan and smacks that alligator. Kill Elton. Okay, that's what I was about John. to say. Can't she just override the system? Oh god. You can't kill Elton John. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Little vermin is dead. Go off and save the world. If I save the world, can I have two tickets to your next concert? Darling, if you save the world, you can have a backstage pass. Ba is that a double meaning? What is happening? How many backstage passes are we giving out? Time's up. <laughs> My boy's got an Hermes belt on. He spent some money for that. Give me the coat. No, we're not done yet. You don't have an arm now. You're not as scary anymore. Lucky for you, Charlie, one of us understands what it means to be a gentleman. <laughs> Fuck fair. Oh. Fuck this guy up, Eggsy. Oh. Boy just blaster twisted him. For the record, Charlie, I'm more of a gentleman than you'll ever be. But right now it's time to drop the gentle bit. Yeah, just snap the dude's neck. Fuck it. Good night, bruv. Oh, God! I didn't actually mean it! Ow! Huh? Okay, I guess he deserved it. Oh, Jesus. Hey, fellas. 
You guys want some cheeseburgers? No, woman. Give us the code. Sure. No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh. Wait, what did that do? Why did you, what? Managed to synthesize your horrible little formula and speed up its effects. So I would say you have just under eight minutes before paralysis sets in and your breathing stops. You release the antidote worldwide and we make sure you get a dose. What if she doesn't care if she dies? Viva Las Vegan. Viva Las Vegan. <laughs> Ew, dude, she is super creepy. <laughs> Now what? Did she give us the code? Is it really Viva Las Vegan? Well, that wasn't eight minutes. It's like 30 seconds. Viva Las So? Oh God, it's Pedro. Come on, Pedro. Now give up your guns, fellas. Slide them over. You were a double agent? Come on. Damn, I forgot about him. The lasso makes it really cool. Normally, I would always be on si on on the Pedro side, right? But in this one, I mean. I love the camera work. Oh my god! No, no, no. Okay, okay. I would love to be there watching them film this. I would absolutely love it. Oh my god. Turn off the meat grinder! Whoa, what a shot, okay. Oh god, no. Oh god! <sighs> Why? Put alpha gel on that, dickhead. Oh, Harry was right all along, but damn, I don't like seeing Pedro lose, but I guess, I guess we'll, we'll be okay with it requiring two Kingsmen to take him down. I guess I'm fine with that. But this one's for you, Merlin. Oh God, pretty soon that's what Amazon packages are gonna look like, I guess. Did you save the world? I've been prepping. God! What? Your parents are there. From now on, tequila, I suggest you stick to booze. It's a terrible message. Should 100% stick to weed. Alcohol ruins lives. I am proud to be responsible for his impeachment. Good, And I will nice. do everything I can to ensure a smooth transition of power. Wow, good thing that she's president now. This shows the world that Kingsman is now joining the liquor business. Okay. Before we were cousins, now we're brothers. We were cousins, but you know in Kentucky, we be fucking our cousins. Now we're siblings. That's a weird thing to say, dude. Maybe the Kingsman boys can dress you properly. Wait, is Channing Tatum gonna be in the third movie? Like, as a more prominent character? That would be awesome. Do they sell Statesman and Kingsman whiskey? Like, as, as mementos for the movie? If not, they're missing out on a huge revenue stream. Oh, he's marrying her. What? I wonder how they're gonna consummate the marriage. <laughs> as one of our founding Kingsmen once said, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. <laughs> oh, let's go. That gave me chills, dude. Channing Tatum, why do you look good in everything you put on, man? It's annoying. Hey, there wasn't a saving the world scene. Is there? Wait, that's it? I thought we were gonna get an anal scene. Now, I think one of the main common critiques about this movie that I've gleaned from you guys is that in the, in the sequel, they tried to do everything bigger, better, more intense, and a lot of y'all think that they fell short. I thought that that was a really, really good movie. So first and foremost, like the supporting cast was fucking awesome. They had some really cool celebrities in there. Second is like the villain of this one. It's hard to beat Samuel L. Jackson with a lisp as the villain, right? This, this chick was twisted, she was weird, she was psychotic, it was scary. So like, that was, that was kind of cool. Um, I, I did enjoy the first one better. Dude, this movie has two and a half stars on Rotten Tomatoes. That's nuts. Some people saying, cruel, spineless, virtually laughter free and above all dull. Even putting a plot to paper makes my headache. 
A lot of people think that like the jokes with Elton John were funny at first and then played out and all the jokes were long and drawn out and beaten like a fucking beaten a dead horse type of thing. I, I personally enjoyed it. I didn't think that this was a dull movie. I thought that it was very funny, entertaining, engaging, just not nearly as good as the first one. But as a sequel, I mean, that's kind of what we're used to is sequel. It's it's a rare occurrence whenever the sequel does just as good, if not better than the first, right? Um, that being said, this was fun enough to where I didn't get bored throughout the movie. It didn't seem too too long to me and it makes me want to see the third so I think that it did its job in terms of carrying over to the third movie but it's not all about what I think I, I want to know what you guys think about it and I'm gonna read all the comments down below so drop your opinion let me know what you think which movie did it better the first or the second and if the second fell short for you why did it fall short and, but the only thing I will say is I was upset that we didn't get a weird anal scene at the end was I the only one that was upset about that I don't know guys all that being said, thank you so much for tuning into this one, and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace!